Hey everybody, Troy from the Do It Yourself World, the Off Grid Project, uh, Do It Yourself World Electronics, and DIY Tube Video Community. I have a lot of channels and TR Tech Tactical and Survival. I want to talk to you today about something I'm being asked a lot of questions on. The topic is Is cryptocurrency worth mining today? That is what a lot of people are asking me. Is it worth it to mine cryptocurrency right now? And there's a lot of questions out there, a lot of people voicing their opinions, a lot of people think no. Actually a lot of the cryptocurrency mining community would like you to think no, because they're, one of the points of the video actually is the amount of people mining a certain coin will affect the ability to mine that coin. So the more people mining a certain coin, the harder it is to mine, and the less coins there are to distribute among the community. So this is almost a taboo topic in the community for some. Others make a living talking about it and teaching you about it. I'm sort of in the, in the gray zone. I don't tell you exactly what I'm mining. So, you know, you can ask me, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm mining today. But I'm going to tell you where I get my information so you can look yourself and make your decisions based on what you find here on this website. So, we'll get to that in a minute. One of the most popular commonly asked questions, by the way, I was answering a guy on Facebook a minute ago and... Uh, started taking notes my own self thinking that's a good video idea and so here we are one of the questions I get asked a lot is cryptocurrency worth mining well that depends on how you look at it now we're not talking Bitcoin um, if you have a five thousand dollar Bitcoin mining machine a single unit just for Bitcoin dedicated to that and you can afford to burn 1500 watts of power continuously then yes but the ability for that machine to mine in, in a profitable level is diminishing every day. So some people do it, some people are millionaires on it, but it's not for, uh, I'd say what I call normal people, it's not for everyday uh, entry level especially people. And it's risky. You've got to know what you're getting into, you've got to know what you're, you're, what you're buying um, because if you buy a machine today and it has, it's not worth mining with tomorrow, it's not worth it. So I, I don't have any Bitcoin. I don't have any interest in Bitcoin. And I missed the boat. I, I think, uh, you know, I, I can't, the computer's long gone. I was given some, some Bitcoin many, 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 many years ago. And I thought, oh, interesting, what's this? And it, I didn't think about it ever again. That computer is long gone. The email address, I wouldn't know where that would be today. You know, I don't remember how much it was. But, you know, all we can do is live and learn. So anyway, I missed the boat. Actually, I was on the boat, but I sort of jumped off. But, yeah, a lot of people I'm sure did. Point being, there's thousands of different coins out there. And I use a website called whattomine.com. I'm not affiliated with them, but I use it heavily. And uh, what you can do, and I'm, I'm looking at my computer as I go along, you can put, what's really cool, you select your particular graphic card, you select how many you have, and then you click calculate, and then it tells you uh, from the highest to lowest, the most profitable coin at this time, how much you can earn per day with that card, and it's 24 hour, it has a three day, 24 hour, seven day profitability level. But anyway, it, could, it tells you how many coins you can get each day with that card, how much you can bring in each day with that card, and how much the electricity costs each day with that card. By the way, you can enter your electricity, you can enter a lot of variables in here. Your cost for electricity and a lot of different things you can enter on here yourself to get a really somewhat accurate idea of what you can earn. So the thing is to keep in mind the prices go up and down on a daily basis with Bitcoin. 
So what's valuable today might not be valuable tomorrow. And the whole system could be low tomorrow or it could be up today. It varies a lot. It's a guide, it gives you an idea. Like right now, my overall profitability for uh, a, a machine running right here, I have five GTX 1050s. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. It's a low end, it's the lowest of the lowest of the graphic cards for mining right now. They earn somewhere between $5 to $10 a month per card in the range of seven and a half dollars a month for that entry level card right now uh, before electric. Now, depends on your electricity cost. I talked to a guy in Australia, somewhere in Australia, he said, uh, oh, I can't remember, it was an outrageous cost for electricity. I said, forget it, <laughs> and don't even get into it. It's not worth it in your area. The price was like more than double what, what we pay for, for grid power in our area. And um, I try to mine on solar power as much as possible anyway to get, you know, to cut out that cost. So is, is there money to be made is another question I'm asked. Well, yeah, there is. The, in its peak, in its peak time in uh, winter 2017 to 2018, my little entry-level graphic cards we're bringing in between thirty and forty-five dollars a month each card. That was awesome. That was really amazing. So you could purchase a card, and its return on investment was three months back then. Three months return on investment. So you literally could buy a card and have it paid and paying for itself in three months. Now, the more expensive cards were earning twelve hundred dollars and up. There were more more than that, but the 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 higher end cards were uh, $1,200, and it was about three to six months return on investment. I can't remember the exact numbers. I want to say $150 to $300 a month is what they were bringing in. I think it was around $150 to $300 each card each month. That was really impressive. Now, let me go and tell you what that brings in today per card and calculate. That same card today is going to bring you, did I calculate right? That's sorry, really? <laughs> About a dollar forty a day, and then that times uh, 1.4 times 30 is <laughs> $42 a month for that one card each which it's still some money okay it's it's okay now if you have to take away your electric costs then it might not be very profitable at this time that computer burns about between 20 and 30 that card will burn between maybe 20 to 30 dollars a month depending on your electric bill so you're not left with much so you have to decide First of all, look at what card you've got, look at what your electric cost is, and uh, look at your return on investment. If you're going to buy a new card, a high-end card, I would not advise that right now. If you could find a good deal on some, some second-hand cards that are relatively powerful and really low cost, go for it and get in there. So that that's a big deal right there, and I'm going to refer to my message to, um, to this guy. So the way I get into it is I mine there's different ways some people are going for the big boys Bitcoin ethereum the top two coins in the world there's other ones below that some people go just for them they hope to strike it rich they hope to get as many as they can before Bitcoin goes to the moon which is a term for meaning goes up in value but my I look at it a different way I mine super, super cheap coins, the lowest of the lowest. The one I'm mining is point zero 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 two dollars a piece. So it's two, whatever, point zero 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 two, or point zero, I think there's four zeros and a two US dollars. So it's a tiny fraction of a, of a penny per coin. 
But at that, I get 15,000 coins a day on my entry level cards. I got five cards on a machine, brings me 15,000 coins every single day. Now, those were worth, back in the peak, uh, four, five, six, seven cents a piece in their peak. So, the possibility of them going up is, is, is high, because right now we're at a low point. Now, I look at, on what to mine, I look at what's the most valuable today, what is, with my card, with my particular card, okay, I look at how many people are mining that coin, and I look at how many coins can I get in a day with my particular cards. So there's three things I'm looking at. Today's price, valuability, you know, its value today on with my card, and how many can I get, but also how many people are mining it. Because the thing is, the more people mining it, the less coins there are to distribute in the community, and the harder it is for you to mine it. So keep that in mind. So I don't necessarily go for the top most valuable coin on the list. I'll scroll down and I spend some considerable time researching which one I want to choose today. And I might even be mining something that's relatively low on the list today, but it was higher yesterday and I know it's going to come back again. They'll cycle. You'll start to see patterns. Up, down, up, down. You'll start to see these things going up and down. They, they all vary a lot. And then I'll run some for a while. I have uh, probably getting on 500,000 of this one particular coin right now. And the idea is not to make money today because everything's at a low. It's like investing. You buy low, you sell high. Right now, I'm mining low and holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. And if it goes up, then I might consider selling. I might wait and see if it goes higher. And that's the key. So is it profitable today? Not very. Can you make some money on it? Yes, depending on your card. More or less, depending on your card. Would I cash it out now? No way. Nope. No way. If I can afford to hold on to them, I'm going to keep every single one of them and hold out for the future. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions. I've given some specific numbers today. And if you check the video description, I will write these details in writing where you can see it, my never read video description, where I usually put a lot more details than what I think of in the video. Only because when I'm writing, I think of some specifics that, that I might have forgotten. Um, I am looking at a Facebook post, uh, website, and my notes at the same time. So I may have forgotten something that, that I'll see in the comments as I'm writing or later on as the videos process or uploading. So always check out that video description on videos like this for details. Um, my goal is to get as many of these cheap coins as possible, hold them, and hope for the best. Now, right now, a big, big indicator in the market, Facebook is starting to set up their own cryptocurrency. That is upsetting the entire world right now. The fact is, if Facebook succeeds, crypto is going to go mainstream. If Facebook fails and the governments um, subdue them, which some governments are not so happy about it, some banks, uh, bankers are not so happy about it, if they're subdued, well, the crypto market could tank, but Bitcoin is the leader right now. Everybody's calling Bitcoin the new gold. So keep your eye on Bitcoin anyway, and keep your eye on Facebook. A lot of people, I have a, a, a business here and I meet people in the community now, I'd say over 90% of the people that I meet never heard of Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. I ask around, I meet people out in the stores, I, whatever, I wear DIY tube shirts, I wear stuff to, to attract attention and to start conversations. And uh, so I get a lot of feedback from people. If Facebook makes this happen, you'll see crypto everywhere and therefore now is the time to get on board, not later. When you're in a slump is the time to do it. There's less competition. The uh, 
there's more coins to share and when the, when the value goes up and everybody jumps on it's not going to be as profitable and you won't be able to get as many coins as you can in a day right now with any of the given coins so I hope that answers all your questions check out the uh, descriptions check out DIY to video community where all my videos are, are shared under one uh, easy to find location so I've got the do-it-yourself world do-it-yourself world electronics TR tech tactical and survival we've got sorry sorry shot we've got DIY to video all there easy to find me there on all my uh, all my channels are there and easy to find uh, if you haven't yet go check it out everybody gets to earn cryptocurrency on DIY tube every 24 hours you get paid for all activities on the site so go check it out free cloud storage unlimited so if you got a channel upload your videos there as a backup and also use the site interact start earning free cryptocurrency by the way the first 1,000 people that upload their first 10 videos get a thousand coins just for doing it the first 1,000 people that write 10 com uh, that write their first 10 comments gets 100 coins just for being there so get over there there's a lot left available hop on over to DIY tube and start earning free cryptocurrency because you never know where it might be tomorrow you never know where the market's going to be tomorrow well Troy from the do-it-yourself world the off-grid project DIY tube talk to you later